Metal Driver here, and today I am not doing a wrestling review. In fact, I am reviewing a Dragon Ball figure. Now, if you look at my posts that I occasionally do, I, I posted an image about a month ago of all these Dragon Ball figures that I bought from the Dragon Star line. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have just bought one, open it and see if I liked it, because I ended up not really liking the articulation on those figures. So what I ended up doing is I bought some SH Figuarts Dragon Ball figures. However, this figure is not an SH Figuarts. It is made by a third party called Demoniacal Fit. Now, if you already collect Dragon Ball figs, then you already know about Demoniacal Fit. This is gonna be my first one, so I'm excited to check this out. And this is Deep Blue Vegeta. Now, obviously it doesn't say Vegeta on the box. Again, third party. They don't officially have the license, but from my understanding, this is based on his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution form, so that's really cool. The side of the box features a nice image of Vegeta. Then the back, we get some more images of the Saiyan Prince, and this nice image on the front. And, uh, wh <laughs> why is he upside down? You're upside down! So that was the box, and before I go any further, this backdrop that you see is by Simple Backdrops. You can find them on Instagram. They make some really cool backdrops. No, they did not sponsor me or pay me to say this. I'm simply saying this because I really like this backdrop. I think it works great for Dragon Ball. But enough of all that. Let's go ahead and open this up and power up to the next level. Here is a 360 look at the Prince of Saiyans. We see some nice detail throughout the figure, and he comes with a ton of accessories, which includes a bunch of hands, such as key blast hands, some open hands, hands to do the final flash, hands you can use to pose Vegeta in his fighting stance, a right hand that looks like his atomic blast hand, and his signature thumbs up hand when he wants to show off. We also get these crossed arms, so you can pop off the arms that are on Vegeta. Like so. Let's go ahead and do this on camera. You can see a peg right here, peg hole on the arm. So these are not brand new. We have seen this with SH Figuarts. Let's see how this works here with this demoniacal fit. Alright, so I managed to get them on and they look nice from this angle. However, if you move them off to the side, you can see that there's some gaps in between on both sides, a little more on the right side. So I don't know if I just didn't put them on right or if it's just these. So they don't fit perfectly. They can fall off real easily. Hopefully that's not the case with all of them but as I said from the front it looks really cool getting a close-up of the head sculpt and the face sculpting on the hair looks really nice it looks just like Vegeta's hairstyle as you would expect I do like the color choice in the blue although that is not accurate to the blue evolution form but I do like the shade of blue I think that looks cool the faceplate is painted very well I think it looks nice the paintwork looks really clean, so I'm very impressed with how this looks. And these come off really easily, so you pop them off as so. He also features three additional faces. An angry face with gritting teeth, a screaming face, and then a grinning face. And then I did want to see if other Vegeta head sculpts fit on the neck peg of this body. So let's go ahead and pop this off. I'm going to try the SH Figuarts Vegeta superhero figure. See if that fits. Alright, so I did have to heat that up, and I mean, it looks nice, but it is a bit loose, so that's unfortunate. But as I said, it does look good if you just want to take a quick picture with it. Now, let's go ahead and try this Super Saiyan Vegeta head. Now, this is from the Super Vegeta figure. I do not have that figure. I only bought the head on eBay about a month ago, so let's see how that looks. Okay, and this looks really nice. I like how this actually fits on the body. It's not loose, so I think this looks looks great. This could actually make as my Super Saiyan Vegeta from the Android Saga, at least until we get the brand new one that comes out next year, so I'm happy with how this looks. And then the final piece of accessories that he comes with is this blue aura piece, and also comes with some smaller pieces here that you can put on the ground. Alright, so that looks really cool. So this is not brand new. This is not a unique piece. SH Figure Arts, they make these pieces as well, but it is nice that this figure comes with that. So let's go ahead and put Vegeta right here. So yeah, I like that. That would look great in photography or just on a display shelf. Then look at the body on the figure. This looks pretty much like the SH Figure Arts mold. Now, I don't have either of those two figures, not the Super Saiyan 1 or the Super Saiyan Blue from the Broly movie. Wish I did, but seeing how I have this, I'm happy with this one. But as I said, it looks like it's the exact same body mold, which again is not accurate because this is supposed to be Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. So that body's supposed to be a little bit bulkier, but I am happy with how this looks. 
Sculpting looks really nice on the Saiyan armor, it looks really good. Nothing sloppy, no bad paint, nothing on the back as well. I do like the color of the blue on the rest of the attire. I think the shade is nice, it's not too dark. The sculpting on the muscles look really good, but if you have either of those previous Vegetas, you should already know what to expect. Arms look good. The white on the gloves, it's not just a matte white, it's a bit of a glossy looking white. Same thing here on the boots, that looks really good. Now what I love about these type of figures, the these SH Figure Arts figures, again, I, I know this one is not technically SH Figure Arts, but figures with this style, so that they have great articulation. The head can look that high up and that far down, so not too bad of a range. And then there is articulation in the neck, kind of moves a little bit, can tilt the head a little bit, turn side to side. There is a hinge at the shoulder, so it can go that high up, can rotate... All the way around, I believe. Yep. It's a bit tight there. There is a swivel at the bicep, although this one can come off, so you want, might want to be careful with that. There is a beautiful butterfly joint here, so it allows for some great posing. And you can actually even cross his arms if you didn't want to use the crossed arm accessory. So... That doesn't look too bad. We get some double jointed elbows, great range there. The wrist can rotate all the way around. There is a hinge there depending on where it's positioned. It might move side to side or up and down. I do believe there's a ball joint here at the diaphragm so he crunches that far forward, goes that far back. So that's a great range there. Can he tilt? Yeah, he can tilt a little bit, twist a little bit there. And then I wanna say that there's a ball joint here. I'm not 100% sure, I haven't taken it off, but Pretty sure there is. So he goes that far forward, that far back, can twist here. The legs go that far out, so not a bad range there. Can go that high up, although this one has popped off on me. Can go that far back. Not sure if you'd actually want him to put his leg back there, but he can do that. There is a swivel here at the thigh. He's got double jointed knees. There is a ball joint here at the foot, so can move up and down slightly, can't tilt like that, and is there toe articulation? I think there is, yep, but it's a bit stiff here on mine, but it is there. So yeah, great articulation, you can put him in some really cool poses. I always like doing the Vegeta kick that he did to sell. Let's see if I can do that here. Yeah, that's not too bad, so love the posability of this figure. Here is the demoniacal fit Deep Blue Vegeta next to the SH Figure Arts Superhero Vegeta figure. And here he is next to Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Deep Blue Vegeta is my first demoniacal fit figure that I have purchased and I'm quite happy with it. I think the quality is pretty good considering it is a third party and it's not an official licensed brand for Dragon Ball. Now I used to collect Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts figures many years ago and back then I also bought some Datong figures and I thought those were pretty good for what they were but so far with this demoniacal fit I think this is much better than that brand and I'm really happy that I have Vegeta in this outfit because I did miss out on the Super Saiyan Vegeta and also the Super Saiyan Blue one with this attire so I'm glad I have this now. So this will help tide me over until that new one comes out next year. So far messing around with this figure, I'm really happy with how it feels, with how it looks. My only complaint is that the arms kind of pop off a little bit easy on mine, but that's not really a deal breaker for me. So I'm very satisfied with this purchase, and I'm pretty confident in saying that I'm probably going to pick up some more demoniacal fit figures to go along with my SH figure arts that I'm slowly trying to build back up. So that being said, if you could recommend the next one that I, you think I should pick up, let let me know in the comments down below and I want to say if you are one of my regular viewers and if you watched all the way until the end thank you so much I appreciate that I know I normally do wrestling figure reviews and I will continue with that I'm not changing my channel to be a Dragon Ball channel but I do plan on doing more Dragon Ball reviews as I collect more SH figure arts and possibly demoniacal fit figures so if you are a new viewer watching this just for the Dragon Ball review thank you I appreciate that I will be doing more in the future and so if you enjoyed this video hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.